<laughs> excuse me. Are you gonna lose your full hold in uh Japan? Japan, Japan, Japan. You have lost almost all of our casualties have been against the freaking Philippines. Nobody else has done any real damage to us. Embarrassing. Your superiority, let's make sure you're flying over uh, southern China. I just put you in Burma for right now. Okay. I need all of these to get you. Electronics, radar. I, I, I never take radar technology. Maybe I should, but... For right now, we should be okay. is going to fall. And we just need to take Singapore. Singapore falls. Everything is golden. Also, I never researched close air support. I think I said I was going to do that like an hour ago and I never actually did it. Okay, you're getting some more stuff done. Putting collaborators. Hold off your attacks for a moment. We'll clean up these guys. And we'll clean up, of course, these small encirclements that we've got going on. Need to be praying invasion down into Singapore. And after that, we'll prepare a naval invasion into um, into the Philippines again. You can, you just need to take like one port, which you might actually do. You might do it. You've taken everything but the, there you go. You have a port, which should mean you get one port in the Philippines. You should win. There's no excuse for you not to win this fight. It might still fuck it up. The AI loves fucking it up. Now been crushed. Way down south. Now, I'm sure they're not really close to capitulation uh, yet. There's a general offensive down towards Singapore. Because Singapore is like the heart of Germany's Asia. They don't have Singapore. They're basically dead. Oh no, the Maldives! I don't care. The Maldives, they're nice. They're not that important though. What are the rest of you guys doing? Anything that we need to concern ourselves with? I'll break on Eagle Go. Is what should allow you to attack the rest of the Chinese states? They won election in 1941! Council of Princes gathered today to elect the national day win from among their number to serve the head of the Islam's government. The winner of the election is we'll all head national Okay, so we what do we what do we want? Garbage. Factory output plus 8%. Not bad, not bad. Army, uh, you I think are also garbage. Also also pretty bad. Also pretty bad. So what we want, I think, is you. Who well, I'm pretty sure are you the head? Who's the head, current head of government? I don't remember who we elected. So we're just going to put you in charge now. But no, we were socially conservative before. We're still social conservative. And I want you moving your way down like this. Get all this land for us, please, and thank you. I said, what you should do? It looks like what works best if we're just in this one province. Pushing away down south towards Singapore. All of you just moved your way down south. Yeah, you just come up here, take whatever land from Vietnam you can. And we'll move our way up to the Sichuan clique. Again, the Republic of China, they're not going to... Not going to live very long, I think. Do 
moving your way through. And you really just need your way here. Just to delete your battle plan. And just, just in case. Something uh, ridiculous. Okay, but we can now get close here to support. It's gonna take us a couple hundred days, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Here. I send you down to the city, take that over. Even though you're not a core, you're a core of Germany's Asia. I see, are you a, um, you're one victory point. And Germany's Asia also owns these other cities. You're actually worth 15. So you actually probably need to kill these two areas in order to get the uh, Germany's Asia to actually capitulate. Never fight a land war in uh, Asia, Sun Tzu. I would have to take a guess and say that Sun Tzu probably only fought land wars in Asia. Given you know, like, everything about him. Keep on pushing your way down south. I guess we'll have you just take over this area. Take over this island, please and thank you. The Guangzhou. Go to Guangzhou as well. I mean, the, the, the Republic doesn't really have that much forces. I, also, I love how Szechuan is kicking the ROC when they're down. Like, are you- you're not pro-Japanese, right? You're not aggression pack, but that doesn't really mean anything. Crush flies and capture pigs. Yeah, everybody's too enamored. It's like, second Wildkrieg this. American Civil War that. But no. They, 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 we, 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 lo we love Asia, folks. Please take over Guangzhou. And also, stop navally invading the Maldives. I mean, you've already done it, but don't do it a second time, please and thank you. Hey, usually, will that be enough for you to be dead? I believe so. I mean, you're worth 10 victory points. You're worth 2. You're worth 5. No, so actually, because you have because you have five victory point city, yeah, it's not, it's not quite enough. But I think just taking the the, the, the two for should be enough. Again, by the way, are you ever going to end up actually pup, getting puppeted by Japan or something of that extent? That would be nice. Can't wait for Isla Switzerland playthrough. Wait, Japan declared war on the League of Eight Provinces? They're they're very strongly pro-Japanese and they still declared war. Okay. No, Japan, you do whatever you think is right. I don't think I can agree with that exact stance, but you know, what do I know? We have played as um National Populist Switzerland, which is the isolationist. Of course we didn't go we didn't do isolationism. But, we have played them before. Okay, Japan, I will join your war in a moment. I can't believe they declared war in the League of Eight Provinces. Or East, uh, East Chinese Provinces. They were literally aligned with you. Unless maybe, maybe they got an event saying they refused to join. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll kill them anyways. While we're in the neighborhood. And okay, there goes the ROC. Congratulations. Uh, Japan... I guess actually we can't take any. I guess I got Japan this province. Perhaps we'll just go to the reformed government of China. There you go. Congratulations. I mean, I guess, you know what, Szechuan? I will give you this one province. You had a troop in the city. I think it may, it, it's more than fair that you can have that one province. Congratulations, Steve. Okay, but you guys now. You need to prepare a southern offensive flank. So you go from here. Guys, prepare the front like this. Move your troops over ASAP. Even thank you.
Bring the tanks in. We have air superiority over the Malay Peninsula. Yes, we do. Fly you up north. We can actually landing troops here as well. I mean, it's a little annoying. I think Siam should help us out with that. Or at least I'm hoping so. You know, a little hard to say. Okay, Japan, I will end up joining your war. These troops up north like this. Move these troops up north like so. Where's my garbage navy? Bring them over to Tokyo. You up. Red Army, you're not doing anything. You're not doing anything either. I mean, what are the chances you ever actually go to Middle Africa? Go to Hyper. Go, 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 go here. Get that done. You guys can now immediately attack. Their cavalry division going over here, claiming the entirety of the coastline. I'm sure he'll have no problems doing this. What's Blue Army up to? Blue Army is up to not being in position yet. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. What are you guys back here doing? You're not happy about supply issues over there. I don't care. Go there anyways. Get it done. Way to Singapore. Singapore is worth 25 victory points. My ships might all sink in the Straits of uh, Malacca. You love to see it. <laughs> How much are you worth? One victory point. You're worth 10. Kuala Lumpur. City will probably end up needing to take at some point. There's no major cities here. Actually, are you worth 15? Okay, Germany's Asia really actually has a lot of their victory points spread out quite nicely. To be quite honest. Just around like this. Then one tank division down just to distract him for a little bit. And we'll upgrade our fighters as well. Make them into the 1936 fighters. Discharge the legation cities. It is the Japanese. They are, they are um, national populist. So they should end up at some point joining up with Japan. I don't know when that will be. But that should be their end goal. Okay, Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lipis. Yep, you're basically dead. Get Germany's Asia down to about 50%. But, I mean, actually, we, we don't have uh, Kuala Lumpur yet. They're now down to 50, yeah, 51%. You need this city, but we also need... But again, your core province of Germany is Asia. We need to take these areas as well. If we are to actually end up winning the whole thing. Yeah, our plants have reached a little bit of a snag. How many guys have? 25 to 76. Bring your way up north. You love to see it. Okay, Middle Africa. I'm going to need you to, like, not be in Burma. You're getting cleaned up quite nicely. Which is going to probably make you weaker to... I mean, I mean, who would actually go to war in Middle Africa? Probably not really anyone, right? At least I don't think so. Again, I'm actually really surprised how well Germany is doing in this campaign. They're holding out against the International way longer than I thought. I already thought that they were going to be dead immediately. But they're doing okay. The southern front of this, the league doesn't seem that great. I mean, to be fair, the reform government did have a pretty long line they had to defend. Unsurprisingly, it was maybe a little bit difficult for them to get that done. Okay, Japan, you're attacking the Philippines from the north and the south. You only have one port, though, which I guess isn't price. <laughs> Philippines actually is really good at defending themselves. A little too well, if you ask me. Invade from Singapore to you. 
Hopefully, you can get that done. Did my navy survive? No, my, enti my entire navy was sunk in the Straits of Malacca. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, excellent. 17 needs 7 more units. And then you need... You actually have to 20. So, we actually, well, why don't you have to 27 then? And what are you actually missing to deploy? Mostly artillery. I mean, artillery, yeah, negative 1,000. It isn't great. Brazil's gonna die soon. The Canadian, or the British actually landed troops in Brazil. We might end up seeing the Brazil or um, Canada being invaded by Britain and France as well. We'll have to kind of wait and see on that one. I mean, the commune, I mean, you know, Spain's dead, right? And I, I don't think Portugal is gonna be lasting too much longer after that point. Subjects, still no good subjects that have any steel production. Just give me the steel, you freaking nerds. I kind of need it. My economy is dying. Are you on very aggressive? No, you should be. Are you on very aggressive? Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, the Kaiser is dead. Here is the war in Lebanon. Not a big, big deal. We want you to... Occupy the neutral storm. I, I want you to actually join up with the Corporate Sphere as quickly as possible. It would allow us to uh, push away to League of East Provinces rather quickly. You guys still have not taken any ports. I hate the Japanese. Just do better. Win the war, nerds. I don't know why this is so hard for you. By the way, do you have any naval superiority here? No. The Germans have naval superiority? Oh, easily. By, by far, yes, they do. Okay, Szechuan's so also going to war in the League of Eight Provinces. Szechuan, so why do you hate... I mean, it, it helps us, I guess. Well, like, I'm so... Actually, I guess it kind of does. I, I, I don't know what Szechuan's really doing. Like, does Szechuan know that they're next on the list? They should know that, right? It, it seems obvious that... There, there's a clear uh, choice that the Japanese have made in terms of who should be in charge in China. I can tell you right now, I, I don't believe it's going to be uh, this one. Just a guess. Just a guess. You guys have a port? You don't. Okay, so they should slowly start to die off. Wait, body commune? Yeah, wow. I was not expecting that. You played E4 since the update. Um, we did. We played... We didn't start a new campaign. We continued the grand campaign on... I think it was Friday. We played like two hours of it. I'm honestly not even too sure what the update actually added into the game. But I have not started a brand new fresh save file in the new... Maybe we'll play like a new, um, maybe we should start up a new EU4 se uh, session at some point. Maybe after the EU4 segment of the Grand Campaign's over, we'll start another dedicated EU4, EU4 campaign. Do I need more steel? God damn it. Freaking steel is killing me. More military factories. Okay, we actually see the Japanese and Atlanta troops here. Fantastic. Just need to push away into Nanjing as quickly as possible. Ignore the Reichs back for now. I can't... Again, the, the Philippines have been very effective against all of my allies. Literally all of them. Draw your offensive line up north like this. I mean, once you take this port, we don't really need these units here. I'm going to stay here. Except for this one guy I'm going to assign to take over the rest of this province. United Filipino anti-Japanese front. The strange thing
the big gameplay difference. Everything else has been UI quality of life. Again, I'm not even too sure what quality of life changes they made. But I don't think I really noticed anything different when I played it. I mean, maybe I'm completely wrong, which is entirely possible. Okay, go up to Nanjing. I want you going up to here. Take those cities, please, and thank you. Like, the league should be almost dead. It should be dead relatively soon. I mean, we, I, we do need to kind of help out Japan and the Philippines. Maybe we'll send this army over there at some point. I don't know. Like, where's the Japanese Navy? Japan, where is your Navy? You only have, actually, you only have 152 ships. That's actually a little embarrassing. Yeah, Germany's Asia isn't quite dead. We do need to take over, um, this area here for them to be completely dead. Development. Oh, yeah, I guess I, yeah, I remember the development map being essentially hot garbage. Nice that they made that less horrible. Okay, you, you guys have to be close to being dead, right? Yeah, that's 22%. One more city changing hand should be all you need for defeat. And all this is going to go back to the Republic or the reforming government of China. Maybe we'll give a handful of provinces to the Japanese. Maybe we'll give them a couple of port cities. Who knows? Okay, fighter ones are done. Let's upgrade our land doctrine. Let's upgrade. Let's go for more close air support. And let's actually start building close air support. Upgrade you to be fighter twos. Get close air support going right now. Let's immediately stick you up to 10. How many artillery do we need? Still 600. I think we can take at least five off on you now. 